hedge board for optimal trading signals to be launched by ACA token. ACA is pleased to announce the debut of Hedgeboard, a sophisticated social trading platform that complements the company's existing social mining rewards club protocol. Both of these developments could be advantageous for the ACA token and its traders. ACA introduces Hedgeboard. Hedgeboard, the next generation social trading platform, has joined the ACA ecosystem. Hedgeboard can act as the MyFX book of the Bitcoin sector as a trading performance verification tracking system. Additionally, the use of blockchain technology enables new methods for recording, storing, and securing data on all traders' portfolios in real time via smart contracts. By implementing this technology, traders lose the option to go back and enhance their data's visibility. More precisely, Traders will occasionally change data after the fact to make it appear as if they were always correct, even when this is not the case. Hedgeboard eliminates this possibility by increasing the transparency, integrity, and accountability of all cryptocurrency traders. ACA employs a proof-of-rank methodology to ensure the maximum level of confidence in the trading rankings displayed on user profiles. This rank will always correlate to the trader's immovable results and cannot be altered in any way. Additionally, Hedgeboard guarantees that users will never be charged for a bad trade again. It's a risk-free way for users to experiment with trading signals offered by other traders, as the system will reimburse them for the cost of entry via the staking mechanism. A gradual implementation to support diverse markets. To begin, the Hedgeboard solution will introduce fresh opportunities and trading indications to cryptocurrency enthusiasts. Today, there are thousands of currencies to investigate, and identifying the next profitable opportunity is critical. Additionally, crypto markets are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, making them more accessible than any other trading vehicle available today. In future iterations, Hedgeboard will incorporate more marketplaces to which individuals are attracted, such as sports betting, FX trading, and the stock market. 100% refund on squandered trades. It's difficult to make accurate trading predictions in the cryptocurrency sector, as these markets remain extremely volatile and unpredictable. Hedgeboard also serves a purpose in this sense, as it is the sole way for users to be refunded if a deal goes wrong. To be more exact, all traders enter into a contract referred to as a blueprint. Traders that correctly forecast market signals will be rewarded with ACA tokens. If their forecast is inaccurate, however, the system will reimburse the buyer's tokens. The entire procedure is fully automated and is designed to assist traders build their credibility and incentive to succeed. Traders can configure each blueprint settings via the Hedgeboard solution. Each blueprint can be purchased by a member of the public, and the contract will execute an outcome if certain requirements are met. Each transaction fulfilled has an effect on a trader's reputation, rating, and the number of ACA tokens rewarded. ACA makes use of social mining. Another perk for ACA ecosystem users is the social mining club. Miners will be rewarded for their contributions via Instagram and Twitter using this mechanism. All incentives are denominated in $SOSX, the social project's native coin. ACA is collaborating with Social to examine the benefits of social mining and how it influences the size and behavior of crypto-related communities. About ACA Token The ACA Token is a cryptocurrency token that serves as the foundation for all ACA protocols. It is a utility token, and like any other cryptocurrency, 
It is available for sale and purchase on open marketplaces. ACA is using the Binance Smart Chain Network to tokenize its own technology in order to create groundbreaking new blockchain goods. ACA token offers a plethora of features that benefit a variety of individuals wishing to profit from the crypto market. Crypto.com coin price forecast, CRO to fall to 42 cents in the next 24 hours. The Crypto.com coin price analysis is now contained within a declining channel, which will break if support at $0.475 does not hold. Bears should aim for $0.30 cents to $0.35 cents as their nearest target. CRO may retrace its steps within this downward channel rather than continuing down to the $0.30 cents to $0.35 cent range. If such is the case, Wolves would be wise to buy at a lower price level in anticipation of a larger rebound. In the last 24 hours, the following has occurred in the price of Crypto.com coin, momentum is bearish. Yesterday, CRO experienced a significant sell-off, falling below 45 cents and reaching an overnight low of 44 cents. The price then recovered slightly but is again trading within a minus $5 range of the overnight low, indicating that it has continued to fall from that level thus far today. CRO made two attempts to break clear of falling wedge resistance before falling below $0.45 cents yesterday. There are now strong odds that the market will retest the lower bottom recorded at $0.46 cents sometime this weekend before attempting to break out of this collapsing wedge resistance. Bears should aim for $0.30 cents to $0.35 cents as their nearest target. Another higher low might be formed on or near the daily support level of $0.475, since it has been performing as a strong support level thus far and was already challenged earlier this week following some minor bounces from there. CRO must first break above resistance at $0.534, indicating that the sell-off from yesterday's peak is complete. Then, if the current pattern becomes the one used to define Crypto.com coin price, those higher highs may provide a major tailwind for a rally approaching resistance levels between $1 and $2. CRO presently faces resistance at $0.46 cents and support at $0.475, the previous day's high, which serve as reversal points for intraday trading tomorrow. The hourly chart shows that CRO broke above the morning cloud on Thursday but returned to it after failing to break above its starting level of $0.4735, indicating that bears remain in power and continuing to push the price lower. The CRO currency pair is currently trading between $0.46 cents and $0.534, with resistance at $0.46 cents and $0.534 and support at $0.475 and $0.45. Crypto.com coin price will almost certainly test the lower level, $0.475, before attempting to break out of the falling wedge resistance. CRO presently faces resistance at $0.46 cents and support at $0.475, which serve as pivot marks for intraday trading tomorrow. On Thursday, CRO broke through the morning overcast but returned to it after failing to break above its opening level. Is CRO set to continue its downward trend? The hourly RSI is currently below 50 and declining indicating that the bears are currently in control of CRO. Consider the chart's candlestick configuration. We'll see that it's a bearish three lines pattern, with the third line serving as the basis for our negative Crypto.com coin price forecast for today, indicating that there was no impetus behind yesterday's 45 cents decline. CRO may continue to trend lower into the $0.30 cents and $0.35 cent range following a brief bounce from resistance at $0.475. At the present, the Bollinger Bands are compressing, indicating a sideways movement that is beginning to resemble range-bound behavior. As was the case on Tuesday and Wednesday, 
this combination may only have one more downward push remaining. The recently broken support line has now become resistant, with the prior high functioning as the initial hurdle for traders attempting to enter long positions. If CRO breaks over $0.475 again, it could rally to around 50 cents before encountering additional severe resistance between $1 and $2 per coin. Analysis of the Crypto.com coin price CRO is currently trading at $0.4550 on Binance, holding above its lower support level of 45 cents, a level that has been tested several times previously and held each time, increasing the probability of a downwards continuation from here, as last week's high of 0.534 has yet to be broken and should therefore not be taken as support by traders looking to buy at current prices. The experts' predictions for Bitcoin trends in 2022 Bitcoin began the year 2021 with a solid performance and experienced a quick surge in both use and interest over the course of the year. The cryptocurrency had numerous milestones, from the launch of the first Bitcoin-linked exchange-traded funds ETFs, to the announcement by big corporations that they would accept it as a means of payment. And then, in Tesla's case, rescinding it, while Bitcoin ended the year lower than many predicted and is off to a slow start in 2022, it is critical to remember that the cryptocurrency outperformed other asset classes in 2021, including commodities, stocks, and gold. NYDIG, a Bitcoin-focused technology and financial services company, has presented its year in review and outlook for 2022, stating that key themes from last year, including regulation and institutional adoption, will carry over into the new year. Take a look at NYDIG's Bitcoin projection for 2022 and the reactions of experts. Correlations at the macro level remain elevated. In the future, we should anticipate correlations to stabilize at these new higher values, there is no reason to believe they will revert to zero correlation. However, similar to commodities, despite moderate positive correlations, Bitcoin should continue to operate as a portfolio diversifier, NYDIG stated in the research. According to Reeve Collins, co-founder of BlockV, a leading platform for generating highly programmable and customizable digital assets, Bitcoin is continuing to open up new avenues for more individuals, even those who have never had access to banks, to pay and connect with global ecosystems. It is critical that Bitcoin is recognized as a portfolio diversifier in order for people to continue to have access to this currency and its associated technology. Due to the asset's youth and the fact that it is only now becoming widely embraced, correlation with equities is to be expected, Collins added. However, over time, this acceptance will likely result in Bitcoin being viewed as a hedge, diminishing its link with stocks. Jorge Pesok, General Counsel and Chief Compliance Officer at Legal First Crypto Software Company Tyson Incorporated, echoed the sentiment, telling GoBanking rates that while there is a correlation at the moment, he expects it to dissipate in the coming years, in part because the functionality of so many of these crypto assets and protocols is so diverse that they will cater to different markets in unique ways. For instance, it's difficult to see how DeFi or NFTs can remain associated with, say, ETH or BTC, given that they all serve so many diverse activities for customers, Pesok explained. Moreover, as Bitcoin's acceptance continues to expand, it is expected to evolve into a risk-free asset similar to digital gold. However, this will require time and additional adoption. At the forefront of stablecoin regulation According to NYDIG, there appears to be an expected ideological divide on the topic, with Republicans favoring a softer approach to regulation than Democrats, and Democrats not always having the necessary congressional control to avoid compromise. In any case, 
We anticipate that finalizing a strategy to stablecoins will remain a top regulatory priority in 2022, the paper states. According to Collins, stablecoin regulation is the most likely regulatory action in 2022, but given the lack of consensus in Congress, I anticipate a gentler touch. Ari Redbird, head of legal and government affairs at blockchain intelligence firm TRM Labs, added that following the president's working group, PWG, on financial markets report on stablecoins last year, it is possible that while we are unlikely to see a comprehensive legal framework for crypto in 2022 given the issue's complexity and apparent partisan divide, we may see movement on stablecoins given the PWG report's pressure and the laser focus on stablecoins. Paysoak said that there is rising support for stablecoin regulation among regulators and both political parties, and this is an area of the crypto business that is likely to see reasonably rapid and, ideally, constructive regulation. Such laws may include something close to FDIC-style insurance, similar to bank deposits, as well as more transparent measurements and criteria for stablecoins backed by dollars and dollar-like assets. The crypto business, in general, would welcome something along these lines, and so there might be significant movement in this area in the coming year, he stated. Securities Classification of Cryptocurrencies Charmaine Gary Gensler has stated repeatedly that he feels that many of the cryptocurrencies presently traded should be regarded as securities, according to NYDIG's investigation. Bitcoin investors, on the other hand, can take solace in Gensler's previous statements that he does not feel the digital asset is a security, which aligns with his predecessor, Jay Clayton, according to the story. However, it is possible that Bitcoin lending products will be subject to securities legislation. Additionally, staking a proof-of-stake currency may be considered. The SEC has not said when, or if, it will begin cracking down on either conduct, the paper noted. Peso concurred, noting that a spate of crypto financing products have previously come under review by the SEC and various jurisdictions. However, support for prudent regulation of crypto-focused goods, including loans, continues to increase, he said. And I have a feeling that there will be a constructive touch in terms of regulation that will allow such items to thrive, he added. Payments as a business model continues to expand. Bitcoin is best known today as an unbacked store of value, akin to a digital counterpart of gold. BTC rewards credit cards, which were initially offered in a limited capacity by several companies at the end of 2020, entered the mainstream in 2021. Get paid in Bitcoin, or Bitcoin payroll, has been a hot topic of conversation among mayors and professional athletes throughout 2021. We believe that 2022 will be the year that receiving payments in Bitcoin will move out of the shadows and become available to the general public, NYDIG stated. According to Collins, 2022 will be a watershed year for global cryptocurrency acceptance, as innovators begin to bridge the divide between decentralized currencies and the centralized world via underlying technology. Usability is currently a significant impediment to bringing Bitcoin payments to the masses, custody, on-off ramps, trouble accessing funds on mobile devices, and interfaces not suited for the target population, Collins added. As the industry evolves at a breakneck pace, I believe we will see products that provide users with a frictionless way to move decentralized, fiat, and digital currencies in and out of the global financial system without the use of middlemen, removing significant entry barriers currently in place and enabling the broader public to pay and be paid in cryptocurrency. Added themes Collins of Block V is bullish on Bitcoin's prospects in 2022, despite the Fed's tightening monetary policy in response to inflation, which has resulted in broad-based sell-offs in both equity and crypto markets. This is understandable, Collins stated. However, at some point, perhaps even now, 
selling will be viewed as an overreaction. And as the market stabilizes, we will see significant price growth across the board in cryptocurrency. Therefore, looking beyond the next year or so, Bitcoin in particular is primed for rapid expansion. For Redbird, the primary focus is on regulatory clarification in 2022, since there is a notion that crypto is the Wild West, a reference to Gensler's statements from 2021. What we actually see is a well-regulated industry in the United States, with crypto firms needing to implement risk-based compliance procedures. And there is greater visibility on financial flows than ever before, he added, noting that this visibility on the blockchain enables law enforcement to track the flow of illegal proceeds and regulators to get a bird's-eye perspective of their regulated ecosystem. By 2022, regulations are projected to become more transparent. Certain cryptocurrencies are classified as securities or commodities. Should DeFi initiatives be regulated as money service businesses, MSBs, similar to exchanges? And how can we categorize and regulate the burgeoning NFT market? He asked. Paysoak, on the other hand, is enthusiastic about Bitcoin's prospects this year. Bitcoin generated a revolutionary idea that has resulted in the introduction of a plethora of unique goods that provide significant value to people the globe over, he said. In fact, the rapid adoption of Bitcoin and other crypto assets shows that, zooming out, we are still in the early phases of a rapidly growing industry prime to enjoy huge growth over the next year. Indeed, it's difficult to remain pessimistic about the future of this business. Will Ethereum's triple halving defeat Ethereum killers, boosting the price of ETH to $10,000 in Q3? The world of cryptocurrencies has been waiting for the start of the alt season, which is currently obscured by the fact that digital assets have been crabwalking their way up the charts. While the star cryptocurrency has been battered by economic uncertainty and regulatory concerns, the altcoin maestri has borne the weight of its flaws. The space has seen an explosion of protocols that have emerged as Ethereum killers. Due to the protocol's shortcomings, including expensive gas fees, scalability, and transaction latency. Meanwhile, maximalists remain hopeful that Ethereum will restore its former grandeur following the completion of its triple halving. Additionally, Investors have been staking ETH 2.0. Will triple halving be the answer to the $10,000 puzzle? For novices who are unfamiliar with triple halving, the cryptoverse is highly versed in it. The combination of EIP-1559 with ETH 2.0 completes the triple halving process. EIP-1559 has been continuously burning coins, resulting in a depletion of supply. As of the time of publication, 1,512,076 ETH had been burned since the inception of EIP-1559. We've also discussed the burn rate reaching 11.40 ETH per minute. Although additional blocks are being added, the burn has created a supply shock, putting the network under deflationary pressure. The price has been consistently pushed higher by the pressure. The transition to pause, which is expected to occur somewhere in Q2 of this year, would alleviate around 90% of the sell pressure. While also reducing emissions by 90%, the ramifications of which will be dealt with through block rewards and inflation. With Ethereum becoming scarce, the price of ETH will eventually skyrocket. Additionally, because POS encourages saving, we would expect a rise in diamond hands, which would dampen price volatility. Additionally, as Coinpedia previously revealed, veterans of the sector have been staking their assets in deposit contracts. 
the number of which has been progressively increasing as belief in the implications of ETH 2.0 has grown. To summarize, once the triple halving process is complete, the network will offer a variety of benefits. This includes reduced price volatility, price spikes, reduced energy use, and scalability. And receptive to the development of additional Ethereum-based apps. While some netizens have criticized EIP-1559, the upgrade has pushed the price higher despite market-wide corrections. Where the numbers appear to be smaller than they should. With the end of the triple halving, we can expect Ethereum to resume its bullish run on the charts while maintaining its utility supremacy. Crypto for a cause, the Wall Street Wolves NFT company funds actual wolf sanctuaries. Join us for a Wall Street style party in the NFT space, and while you're at it, help out a good cause. Wall Street Wolves, the hottest new NFT firm, is so new that it will not open until after the Wolf Moon on Monday the 17th. Wall Street Wolves is a community-based NFT project focused on financial independence and the education of the future generation in the Web 3.0 domain. Its 9,999 Wolf-themed NFTs act as a portal into their realm, which they refer to as the Wolfverse. Wolfpack members get access to a variety of utilities, including the investment center, pharmacy, penthouse, monthly airdrops, real-world events, and metaverse gatherings. The creators of the company take delight in giving back to the community and navigating this new sector ethically and deliberately. Their primary charitable endeavor is to provide monthly contributions to wolf sanctuaries worldwide and to sponsor three actual wolves. They intend to grow the site into a resource for community members seeking advice and financial assistance with their own wolf tank projects. The Wolf Pack began as a collaboration of longtime friends who possessed extraordinary abilities and boundless drive. They wanted to add something fresh to the NFT environment, and so they created a line of wolves inspired by the film The Wolf of Wall Street. Just as Jordan Belfort upended Wall Street's current quo, co-founders Arian Shabazi, Ali Barrow, Sina Shah, and Ashik Van Jade plan to upend the NFT market status quo. According to the founders, NFTs are fundamentally the gateway to financial independence. The NFT market is structured in the way it is today due to the novelty of the technology. The JPEGs that sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars demonstrate the tremendous and powerful capabilities of Web 3.0 technology. It is an additional layer of protection on the internet that enables individuals to directly hold assets, bypassing intermediaries. Now, NFT art collections serve as a showcase for the technology. Within the next five years, we believe that NFTs will broaden buyer-seller transactions to include all sorts of intellectual property, as well as real estate, automobiles, and event tickets. It's effectively a power shift, the authority over sales and transactions will now rest with creators and consumers, rather than with the institutions that support them. Wall Street Wolves' mission is to make their community happy and to provide maximum value to each individual. To that end, they've teamed with two cannabis dispensaries, Upsmoke LLC and Vegas Treehouse, and the utility is obvious, own a Wall Street Wolf and receive free weed. Upsmoke immediately recognized the project's social component, assisting participants in achieving financial independence and contributing to philanthropy, and thus positioned themselves as the project's first official collaboration and supplied real estate for the crew to paint its first NFT mural. The Vegas Treehouse cooperation began with a mural collaboration between digital artist Becca of Las Vegas and the NFT project Vegas Pandas Club. The Pandas offered the Wolves access to the front lobby wall of the Vegas Treehouse, where they collaborated to construct their largest collaborative NFT mural to date, 
which included various NFTs around the room. Wolf cardholders can now visit the lobby and experience NFT art, as well as request a monthly $50 gift card. Becca is an artist and graphic designer working in Las Vegas. She is originally from the Washington, D.C. metropolitan region. She has considerable experience planning and directing graphic design projects, as well as a lengthy history of creating original, bright works as a freelancer, including murals, logos, website designs, and product branding. Becca's talents and artistic experience have aided in the execution of the Wall Street Wolves Collection's design vision prior to its introduction, and she will continue to do so as the wolf first evolves. Wall Street Wolves, like the majority of other NFT firms, is also into music. They have already secured a few artist collaborations, and once their real-world events begin to take shape, collaborating with musical artists will be critical to adding depth and color to the events. After all, the NFT space would be nothing without artists. A Beginner's Guide to Australian Cryptocurrency Trading For years, cryptocurrency has garnered a favorable reputation in the investment world. To minimize duplicate spending and other counterfeiting difficulties, this virtual or digital currency makes use of highly secure cryptography. Numerous cryptocurrencies make use of blockchain technology, which is a decentralized ledger that records, tracks, and visualizes cryptocurrency transactions, payments, and exchanges. Numerous investors have taken advantage of this opportunity due to its 24-hour market operations, increased liquidity, and high dividends. Bitcoin is one of the most established and well-known cryptocurrencies in this sector. Numerous altcoins, like Binance, Ripple, and Ethereum, are already floating in the market. Cryptocurrency is classified as property in Australia. As a result, many people have begun investing in altcoins on this continent. If you live in Australia and are considering investing in cryptocurrencies, you may want to learn more about crypto trading. In this instance, the following article will serve as a guide. 1. Cryptocurrency Analysis Prior to opening a digital currency account, you should familiarize yourself with cryptocurrencies and how to trade it. Determine how you may profit from its volatility. Consider adjusting and improving your low returns. 2. Locate a reputable cryptocurrency exchange and open an account. After familiarizing yourself with digital currencies, you can open an account with a reputable crypto exchange. These exchanges are online markets where you can sell or purchase cryptocurrencies in exchange for other assets such as other virtual currencies or traditional fiat currencies. Consider the following criteria before selecting an exchange. Security The number of digital currencies offered Ease of use Trading features the use of fiat currency in the purchase and sale of crypto, avoiding conversion fees. Brokerage fees. Authenticity. Additionally, you can speak with a colleague or an experienced cryptocurrency investor. Additionally, you can join cryptocurrency communities where these marketplaces are frequently appraised and compared. 3. Select your cryptocurrency. After deciding on a brokerage and establishing an account, you may begin selecting a virtual currency. Numerous seasoned crypto investors recommend well-established digital currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum due to their lower risks and longevity in the market. Additionally, conventional currencies have developed a greater degree of predictability than the new digital currencies. Alternatively, you can use newer currencies, 
but be sure to check their performance during the last few months and weeks. Bear in mind that, in most situations, new altcoins are riskier, but provide a bigger potential return. 4. Select a technique After registering and selecting your cryptocurrency, you can begin developing your investment strategy. Due to the fact that cryptocurrency trading is similar to stock trading, you can incorporate tactics from the latter, such as Elliott Wave Theory. Additionally, you may have some newer perspectives on red flags and advice that might assist you in managing your virtual currency in various crypto forums. 5. Take control of your virtual currency. If you intend to keep your cash for an extended period of time, you may wish to consider purchasing a Bitcoin wallet. You can choose from a variety of free solutions on Android and iOS. Additionally, you can utilize trading bots to automate your buying and selling. You should be aware of the following cryptocurrency trading tips. To assist you in navigating your first few weeks of cryptocurrency trading, you may want to examine the following tips to help you manage your trades and decisions more effectively. Make a profit and loss account. Establish a goal for your cryptocurrency trading in order to choose when to continue or quit. On the other hand, you may want to consider setting a profit target. Consider the dangers. Consider allocating more time, money, and effort to small but secure transactions rather than large ones. If you choose the currency with the largest return potential, make certain it has a long track record of positive performance in the cryptocurrency business. Maintain vigilance. Due to the volatility of cryptocurrency, you must keep informed in order to choose whether to purchase, sell, and trade. Adhere to what has been established. In the majority of cases, the prices of virtual currencies are substantially influenced by the market behavior of Bitcoin. As a result, you may want to begin investing in Bitcoin, as it is a critical component of crypto trading. El Salvador and some countries have even legalized Bitcoin. Final Remarks If you're ready to invest in digital currencies, you might want to consider the information in this press. While they do not provide all of the necessary knowledge about cryptocurrency trading, they may provide some valuable ideas for getting started with virtual currencies. Bear in mind that regardless of your preparation, cryptocurrencies will experience ups and downs. As a result, you should maintain an open mind and make informed decisions during the negotiation process. Yes, cryptocurrency is volatile. Is it, however, just a passing fad, or is it here to stay? Anyone who has followed Bitcoin's erratic price swings since its inception may become dizzy. When it was first introduced in 2009, a unit of the pioneering cryptocurrency was worth nothing. According to data from SoFi, a student loan refinancing firm, the price rose to one US dollar within about two years and then surged upward in value to around 30 US dollars months later. But then it dropped to five dollars. By 2013, the price of Bitcoin had reached a high of 1,100 US dollars, according to SoFi. It took off from there, reaching a high of more than 60,000 US dollars in 2021, but with many stomach-churning swings. It was fluctuating between 48,000 US dollars and 46,000 US dollars in mid-December. As a result of this roller coaster ride, economists and experts have formed opposing camps regarding the future of not only Bitcoin, but the entire cryptocurrency sector. For those who are unfamiliar, Digital currency is a type of money that is created and tracked in cyberspace using blockchain technology, 
which is best described as a digital ledger. Unlike fiat currency like dollars, which is backed by the US government, crypto is largely untethered to controls like Federal Reserve banks. The digital ledger is viewable by all users, making it an unusually transparent form of currency. However, there are a lot of unknowns and questions about how crypto will be regulated in the future, which almost always leads to volatility. Hugh Johnson, an eminent financial advisor in the capital region, listed cryptocurrency as a risk factor to watch in his annual market forecast for 2022. According to him, the combination of volatility and a lack of regulation poses a threat to the market's stability. It's difficult, at best, to make the case that, crypto, has a fundamental appeal that goes beyond being a possible hedge against inflation or financial disarray, Johnson said. If it doesn't go beyond that, if there isn't a fundamental reason to buy Bitcoin, it becomes a price-only speculation. According to Johnson's colleague Sean Leonard, chief investment officer of the Graypoint financial planning firm, cryptocurrency is a highly volatile asset, and the more wallets of average Americans are tied to it, the more risk to household spending and economic health if cryptocurrencies decline materially. Leonard noted that the volatility of cryptocurrency has made businesses hesitant to accept it as payment, and some high-profile frauds haven't helped to solidify crypto's place in the economy. According to Johnson and Leonard, the most significant threat posed by crypto assets may be a weakening of the Federal Reserve's control over the money supply. If crypto assets increase as a percentage of liquid assets and trade freely, the Fed may lose control and lose its ability to influence economic activity through interest rate setting. Libertarian supporters of Bitcoin and other forms of cryptocurrency, on the other hand, see this type of disruption to economic control systems as a feature, not a bug. Furthermore, the coding community can vote to increase the supply of a particular cryptocurrency. The Federal Reserve will not allow this power to be delegated, according to the advisors. Given that the vast majority of investors and citizens have faith in the global banking system, cryptocurrencies aren't necessarily meeting a real economic need, according to Leonard. Bitcoin is expected to be limited, with a maximum of 21 million coins produced. Richard Plotka, director of the Information Technology and Web Sciences program at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, is far more optimistic about the financial sector's acceptance of cryptocurrency. However, he believes that before crypto can be considered another form of fiat currency, currency legally issued by the government that is not backed by a physical commodity such as gold, it must become more widely accepted. While Plotka, who wants to establish a research center devoted to the developing crypto market at RPI, acknowledges the Wild West nature of this world right now, he also observes steady evolution. An in-depth investigation Crypto, in his opinion, will change the economy, but not overnight. I believe it will eventually stabilize, he says, especially once the governments start to get behind it. According to Plotka, the current crypto system is unpredictable because not all of the kinks have been worked out, and almost anyone can influence what happens to the value of a digital currency. He believes that the rise of cryptocurrency will be disruptive to banks and other currencies. Once the system's most troubling bugs have been addressed, he anticipates that middleman services, similar to those that service more traditional financial transactions, will facilitate blockchain transactions and make it accessible and easily transparent to less tech-savvy users. Several banks and institutions have already begun to attempt to enter the sometimes perplexing crypto marketplace. For example, Mastercard collaborated with three cryptocurrency providers in the Asia-Pacific region to launch crypto payment cards that convert digital currency into traditional currency. El Salvador, in Central America, has committed to building a city using Bitcoin-backed bonds. 
And, in a sure sign that crypto is here to stay, or at least be taxed, the US government is implementing cryptocurrency transaction reporting requirements. Plotka envisions cryptocurrency as the gold of the future, with other currencies being measured against Bitcoin. It's the perfect electronic money for everyone, he says. It's just a race to see who can get there first. And that's what this war is all about. You are listening to Crypto Pirates Podcast. The Aave price is set for a 5x rally in 2022. What can traders expect in the next few days? The cryptocurrency market continued to recover over the weekend, with the major coins remaining in the green. BTC is approaching the $44,000 resistance level, while ETH is still hovering around $3,300. Aave, on the other hand, is the race leader with 9.1% gains. The famous channel coin Bureau's host investigates the future of Aave, a decentralized lending and borrowing technology, AAVE. Guy, a pseudonymous analyst with 1.87 million YouTube subscribers, claims in a recent video that the total decentralized finance, DeFi, sector is recovering from a drop when compared to the rest of the crypto markets. According to him, the Aave token's value has hardly doubled since the beginning of 2021. Almost every DeFi coin has struggled to keep up with the rest of the market since the crypto market crashed in May of last year. This appears to be due to a shift in emphasis towards non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Last year, Aave rose from less than $100 to nearly $660 on May 18 before plummeting by more than 70% to $184 by late June. After returning to over $400 by mid-September, the altcoin ended the year on the decline until a late December surge that lifted Aave from $180 to $255. Upgrades are in the works. According to the Coin Bureau host, the planned V3 upgrade for Aave could increase interest in the project. The most significant upcoming milestone is the release of Aave v3, which will add a slew of new features to the Aave protocol. He mentions three features, the portal, the high-efficiency mode or e-mode, and the isolation mode. These features will improve the blockchain and serve as catalysts for adoption. Guy also mentions Aave's desire to shape the future of social media by launching a decentralized social media network that cannot be blocked or erased. The expert concludes by forecasting Aave's price. With a market capitalization of only $3 billion, Aave could be undervalued by a factor of 5, and its fair value could be well over $1,000. Aave is currently trading at $242.20, up 10.6% in the last 24 hours. You are listening to Crypto Pirates Podcast. Solana's Bull vs. Bear Prospects in 2022 Here's why, as the new year begins, Solana, SOL, could be an interesting long-term pick for investors, albeit with some risks. Last year, Solana, SOL, was unquestionably a big winner. Indeed, any cryptocurrency that increased in value by more than 4,000% in a single year is worth investigating. There are several reasons why this token has risen in value, according to Solana. Solana is a market leader in smart contract-enabled proof-of-stake networks. Many investors regard Solana as an Ethereum killer. That is a distinction reserved for only the most well-known networks. And Solana's current position as the fifth largest token in the world reflects this status. As we begin the new year, investors may wish to consider the future prospects for Solana. Let's take a look at the bull versus bear case for this leading token. Solana, a bullish assessment. Solana is still one of the world's fastest growing blockchains. Two major factors contribute to this token's ranking as a top-five token. First and foremost, 
This network is extremely fast, with a capacity of 50,000 transactions per second. To put this in context, Ethereum can currently handle only about 30 transactions per second. Second, Solana's proof-of-stake mechanism is both environmentally and economically friendly. As a result, Solana is able to conduct transactions at rock-bottom prices, in many cases, at a fraction of a penny. This low-fee structure is very appealing to those looking to sell their NFTs or transact in small amounts. The Solana Foundation and 776, a venture capital fund, intend to invest $100 million in developing the so-called next wave of social media on Sol. There are reasons to believe that this investment will spur further blockchain development. Sol, a bearish viewpoint. While the previous information appears to be positive for Solana, there are several reasons to proceed with caution with this cryptocurrency play. First, the rate of growth seen by Sol in 2021 cannot be sustained indefinitely. Investors have a plethora of cryptocurrency options to choose from. It appears foolish to predict that Solana will be the ultimate winner in the race for market share in the crypto space. Second, Solana's lightning-fast speeds have recently slowed. Several network outages have thrown cold water on the bull thesis for this token. In conclusion, on the one hand, Solana's network congestion can be viewed positively by investors. A burgeoning ecosystem built on top of the Solana network has essentially caused disruptions. It's debatable whether these are simply growing pains or a sign of problems with the Solana infrastructure. Right now, I'm optimistic about Solana. This token, in my opinion, could give Ethereum a run for its money, Ethereum 2.0 or not. As a result, I believe investors should take the bullish side on this token for the time being. We hope you enjoyed watching and listening to this video, please let us know your opinion in the comments area below. If you found our content useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more crypto-related contents.